Hello XDC family and welcome back to Crypto Ready. If you want to be ready for crypto then you are in the right place. Today guys I've got some incredible news about XDC, about the CBDCs and there's a very interesting thread at the end that I want to talk to you about. So I hope you will stick around to the end. Looking at a tweet from R3. Now you guys know they are deeply connected to XTC so R3 is the one to watch. Save the date for Kodakon 2022. Join us in person in London this September 27th to the 28th as we explore the latest topics impacting the new digital asset economy. Everything from CBDCs to decentralized finance. This is going to be a huge date to watch out for guys. Obviously you can watch it online because there are going to be videos out there but if you can go to london in september let me know if anybody wants to go there and make videos i'm happy to put them on my channel so let me know what you guys think but guys r3 it's gonna be huge right r3 xdc come on as i got as i've said on my channel many times before most of the world's banks are on the quarter platform okay pay attention because xdc is the settlement coin okay let's move on looking at a tweet from x's in my patient's future the coin tokenizing all of trade finance aka xdc deserves to be listed on binance so guys it's clear right a game is being played here i mean binance has got coins such as lunar on there come on i mean you guys know what happened with lunar right um, and Coinbase has got Shiba Inu, right? I know there's many Shiba Inu lovers around here and Dogecoin and stuff like that. But for me, it's about utility. I follow utility. I'm, I have some smaller investments in some of these hype coins. But my majority, 99%, is invested in utility. And I look at the ISO as utility. The utility is where the money is going to be made in the future. It might look like a long run right now, guys. The red market... And everyone's talking, you know, FUD about XDC, XRP, all these ISO coins. But guys, we're here for the long run. If you're here for the short term, then utility is not for you. You want to make money on these hype coins like Luna, possibly, or Shiba Inu. It's up to you guys. But I believe utility is going to win the day in the long term. Okay, so huddle strong. Have diamond hands. Get away from the charts. I don't even show you the prices anymore on coin market cap. You know, have you noticed? Because I don't think we need to see the price every day. All right, and unless we see some huge numbers, I'm not going to be showing you the charts anymore because it's not worth looking at them because they are staying in a range at the moment. And I believe the bottom is not in yet. So we're going to leave the charts for now. Okay, moving on. Another tweet from X is my future patience. If you're bullish, despite the market being so down, you're an outlier. And you are also probably holding utility coins. Crashes are just opportunities to stack your bags. Future people would die to have a time machine to buy at these ridiculous prices. Just like today, towards 2018. He's right guys, I've said that on my channel so many times. The dip is the time to buy, not to sell. Many people have left this market, good luck to them, but I'm in here for the long term. If it takes to 2025, if it takes as long as 2030, I'm still going to be holding it. But the main thing I'm worried about all the time is am I going to be able to secure my assets? Because my stuff is offline, right? And so should yours be. I just be worried because I have I have my keys written everywhere. And, you know, um, I just get worried. Am I going to lose them in the next few years? Because I worried about keeping them safe. So I hope you do that. I hope you have a hardware wallet. If you don't, then follow my link in the description. Buy a Ledger Nano. And write your private key in as many places as possible and keep it safe okay that's the key here keep your keys safe moving on to another tweet from don xdc if you buy xdc for long-term huddle why do you care about the daily weekly price fluctuations have a look at the big picture and the vision is clear this is a gold mine just dollar cost average and relax scoop some for you for your kids and you will set them for life. Be smart. Another good one, guys. You need to be smart. This is the time to invest dollar cost average. Don't put in more money than you can afford to lose. Don't put your life savings in there, but have enough. 
and enough means guys i don't know how many you want to buy anything in the thousands is enough if, I, if i'm talking about xtc anything up to ten thousand i think ten thousand or more is ideal but if you can afford less you rather have something than nothing okay moving on a tweet from esoteric xrp good to know china's cips and russia's spfs are adopting the iso 20022 standard this will be huge for all iso 20022 holders and coins such as xrp xlm xdc etc now let's look at that piece from the article it clearly says it here guys a number of domestic and international payment systems have adopted or are in the process of adopting iso 20022 standard including swift china's cips and russia's spfs and ripple as you guys know guys look iso is a huge one it's gonna be voluntary starting in august and then it's gonna kick off in november 2022 i can wait till november 2025 i don't mind i mean i'm here for the long run right you should be too utility will prevail in the long term don't look at the short term gain the short term gain and the short term loss is not gonna matter when the big numbers come in and i think when iso starts in november going down the line in the next few months after that i think we're gonna see a huge utility bull run okay and xdc is connected to iso standards it's connected to r3 it's connected to the world's biggest financial players okay so pay attention people moving on the future is xrp has tweeted out the people who saw the possibilities of crypto being valuable who were the first in with 1000 plus investment and they huddled became wealthy just a heads up those who see the actual true use case of cryptos are just as early as those who invested in bitcoin and they were made wealthy i know many people who talk about bitcoin oh we missed the boat in you know 2018 2017 but that's when they knew about it bitcoin came out in 2010 okay we get a lot of formal when the prices go up but we should be forming in when the price are low okay the prices are low that's when you get to buy more for your money so pay attention people and invest to make that wealth right now another tweet from the future is xrp ftm and polygon under attack right now eth once again proving it is garbage how many other coins have to go bust before heavy speculation disappears and utility is mostly adopted as in xrp xlm xdc these are the most undervalued cryptos that will skyrocket very soon now when i say very soon guys it means in the next one to two years at least so you gotta be willing to be patient and huddling with patience all right patience is key here get on with your life do the extra hours keep your family together make sure there's food on the table but pay attention to what's happening in the world because everything is changing we are transitioning to the new financial system right now the foundations have already been laid doesn't matter how many cbdc's have been trialed i believe it's already ready it's just a matter of an announcement it's just going to be coming together very soon okay so pay attention people moving on to a tweet from atul kakare he is the founder of xtc he says who wants to impress with a dap that runs on xtc via qnt over ledger please deploy and post details on xtc.dev the best ones will get special attention as you guys know a couple of days ago quant released 2.2.9 which is a better version of the overledger tokenizer and xtc is highly connected to quant and if you have got them skills guys because i don't definitely have the skills to be creating a decentralized application if you have got the skills guys this would be the perfect opportunity to launch it on xtc and get the rewards as atul says here you will be getting special attention cz binance has tweeted out before web3 you, you work hard for your money and they keep on diluting it afterwards after web3 let them dilute their money let your hard money crypto work for you and i think guys i mean i'm not really interested in putting my you know locking my cryptos and staking and stuff like that because i know there's no regulations 
so many exchanges are running out of liquidity they are being bought by the big boys by the elite people so right now guys it's not the right time for me i don't think it should be it should be for you i wouldn't leave my coins on exchanges and stake it or whatever i know you get promised high yields and high rewards for me right now guys i'm gonna keep my crypto off the exchanges and when regulations are here when i know i am more safer with my money i know the future is digital guys and you're gonna be washed wherever you go but that's how it is we gotta move there but we will make the most of it while we can okay the key point here guys is keep your crypto safe okay moving on to a tweet from the imf the one and only the central bank digital currencies and some kinds of crypto can be more energy efficient than many current payment options like credit cards so let's look at this chart power hungry they say some payment systems are energy intensive you don't say but some specific design choices can be much more efficient alternatives as you guys can clearly see on this chart guys bitcoin proof of work and credit cards use the most energy and if you don't have proof of work currently there's so many good blockchains and dlt systems out there they don't use any energy with the green energy narrative in the world guys energy is due to run out you know energy is gonna run out they need to move to green energy bitcoin uses too much energy it will have to change its code because that's the only way forward right they can't carry on as proof of work i mean we got ethereum trying to change proof of stake but i don't think that's any success at all i don't think they're going to be able to solve this scalability issues which is another big one anyway so we will see what happens with that but you know xdc uses no energy welcome looking at a tweet from the wall street journal it has been three weeks since crypto lender celsius network took the drastic step of holding customers withdrawals as you can see guys not many customers are expecting to get their money back especially after they locked up on celsius that's why i'm telling you guys do not lock up your crypto right now it's a bad time wait for regulations keep your crypto off these exchanges you cannot trust them okay doesn't matter if it costs you money to take them off get them off there moving on alt crypto gems has tweeted out circle ceo has published a twitter thread quelling fears and rumors that usdc is on the brink of a collapse he added that it is understandable why the crypto community would worry about USDC given the recent collapse of several crypto projects such as Luna, right? And I believe Tether is another one waiting to explode because Tether has not achieved its peg to the dollar, okay? I think Jerry Miller is trying to cover his back here, but I think people are going to be looking at USDC obviously because other, you know, stable coins have lost their peg and have collapsed, so it's obvious usdc would be looked at next but i i don't know i don't think usdc is that bad compared to usdt what do you guys think would you be leaving usdc i mean you don't have to leave usdc if you have got any money in usdc buy cryptos or take your money out and take your crypto offline the average investor like ourselves doesn't need to worry about usdc because when it is all set and done guys when the markets are regulated all the on and off ramps are going to be regulated so you're going to be watched regardless um so you don't really need to do much just hold your crypto off exchanges okay moving on to a tweet from siske kevin the dollar index is looking strong dollar index is holding well above 100 and on important trend line support due to strong dollar index more people are fleeing from stocks and crypto into the dollar I am expecting more corrective moves in stocks and cryptos in coming weeks or months. We have to pay attention to the dollar index guys because when the dollar index goes up, cryptos go down. When the dollar index goes down, that's when people are moving their money from the dollar to the crypto and stocks. I'm looking for the dollar to crash. As bad as it might sound guys, that's when the money is going to come to crypto. I want crypto to rise, but I think we have got a long way to go yet. Ups and downs are going to be coming. But we'll keep an eye on the dollar anyway moving on to a tweet from crypto and docs crypto can make you a millionaire you just need to buy and huddle the right coins most promising gems now if you guys are aware of any gems out there that have got a good utility good white paper drop that in the comment section below so i can have a look at it and maybe bring more news out on it but for me guys it's just utility i know utility is gonna make us millionaires in the future i would write xdc to zero or to the top so i'm gonna be in the middle i'm gonna hold all right i'm sure you should do the same because 
Right now, guys, it's at a bargain at two cents. So make your choice. Moving on to a tweet from Petty X R Parker. I believe we still have a long way to drop. The bottom is definitely not in. Stay sharp in this current market. This is when millionaires are made for the next run. Do your own research and do not spread yourself too thinly. 2024, 2025 will be the big dance. It's gonna be kind of slow until then. Everything's gonna be put into place, ISO's coming in and so many other bits and bobs, but I think it's a matter of one to two years, that's when the big gains are gonna be coming. So I hope you are patient enough and you're gonna hold on and work hard till we get there. Moving on to a quick thread, guys, from Coin Market Cap. Now they are talking about CBDCs, and I found this pretty interesting. So I'm sure you're going to find it interesting too. So they say in the last half a decade, dozens of countries have announced plans to launch a CBDC of their own. Indeed, according to Atlantic Council, a staggering 105 countries are now exploring CBDCs, including 19 in the G20. Looking at this map, guys, it looks pretty nice i mean you got a lot of blue a lot of orange so we've got a lot of countries in pilot a lot of countries in development and 10 countries have already launched so it's getting closer and closer the digital era is really close guys so pay attention moving on out of the g7 economies the uk and usa are the furthest behind in terms of cbdc development whereas a total of 10 countries worldwide have already launched their cbdc including the bahamas Jamaica, Nigeria and several countries in the Caribbean. I believe it's all just a game being played. UK and USA are actually ahead. They are actually in front of everybody. It's just a matter of time. They will take the right place where they need to be. But I believe they are just not telling the public right now. So we'll keep an eye on that. With the potential to improve financial inclusion, reduce counterfeiting, cut down cross-border transaction fees and times, and improve the transparency in the money supply, CBDCs could demonstrate the viability of blockchain technology for major financial use cases. Guys, look, we know blockchain is the fourth industrial revolution. Blockchain is gonna revolutionize the financial industry. It's gonna make life very, very different and very, very digital. Okay, moving on. Earlier this month, it was revealed that Jamaica will be the next country to roll out a CBDC after having explored the possibility since 2020. Look guys, Jamaica is on board as well, okay? It's just a matter of time. Everything is falling into place. So we need to pay attention. Every country in the world is coming together. It's all going to be interoperable. Doesn't matter if China has its own system or Russia has its own or USA has its own or UK or whatever, you know. Everything is going to be interoperable and it's going to be these cryptos, the utility driven cryptos, the ISO cryptos that are going to help and connect the world together. So pay attention. All right. Moving on. Known as Jamdex, it will be issued as legal tender. Users set up a digital wallet and can make payments using a QR code or wallet ID without needing a bank account. However, Jamdex will be ledgered on centralized servers instead of a blockchain. We've been fed the decentralized thing for a long time now. I believe guys, there's no such thing as decentralization. It's all going to be centralized because when I listen to the clip from Augustin Carson, who is the head of the Bank for International Settlements, the BIS guys is known as the top boss of all the central banks. And he said, guys, that we need total control. And this is what's going to come out of the new digital economy. Right now, he says, we don't know who's spending the hundred dollar bill or the 50 pound bill. We want to know that. We want to be able to control that. It's all about control, guys. So even though we might be rich and wealthy, we are going to be in their control, okay? We are going to be watched. But like I said, guys, we will see. But I think it is for the better. It is how it's going to be. We're going to have to adjust to that, okay? Moving on. Given that central bank digital currencies are generally issued on blockchain or similar DLT technology, and will be presumably backed and insured by their respective governments. Some believe that they will pose a major threat to stablecoins or cryptocurrencies as a whole. I don't believe that at all. I believe everything's going to be interoperable. CBDCs, 
crypto blockchain it's all gonna be connected together i don't think guys cbdc's are gonna pose a threat to cryptocurrencies or cryptocurrencies are gonna pose a threat to cbdc's i think they're gonna work hand in hand they're gonna be interoperable and they're gonna help and complement each other all right looking at the next bit there are now a total of 43 cbdc projects in research stage 24 in active development and 15 being pilot tested what else did we expect more and more countries are adopting cbdc's why wouldn't you want absolute control over your citizens it's obvious they want to control us but this is the only way they can go forward the pandemic has accelerated the digital economy and i believe that's the only way forward but we will see how we get on but we're gonna have to adapt to it and we will that's how it is okay so this is it guys this was the last thread and i just want to say at the end guys thank you so much for your support i want to thank all my subscribers i'm getting very very close to the 1000 subscribers and as soon as i do that guys i'm going to be doing a giveaway xdc related so i'm going to be speaking to you about that when i get to that stage but if you enjoyed today's video guys please subscribe to the channel hit the like button and please share this video with family and friends and let them know that crypto ready is the place to be if they want to be ready for crypto i hope you have a lovely day take care bye bye